I'm here with Judd Gregg, the former governor, the former U.S. senator, and it's a real pleasure to, to be speaking with him. Senator, uh, it's so close. It's so close right now, but there are some key towns still out in terms of the southern tier, uh, you know, Merrimack, uh, some of those towns that I know that you always really did very, very well in. Uh, what do you make of the situation right now? Well, I think that's true. I think there. Are, I think you've hit the nail on the head, John. I mean, basically, there are a lot of big towns that have very significant votes that are still out. Most of the cities have reported. Uh, so I think that if I were Kelly Ayotte, I would be fi figuring that uh, this is going to close very quickly, and I may end up winning this thing. In fact, I would expect she will. We were talking earlier about um, the top of the ticket and uh, whether Hillary Clinton can top the 50% mark. What's the significance of her being over 50% or just under? I think it's determinative. I, I, I think if uh, Secretary Clinton does not get over 50%, then it's very hard for Democrats to win uh, at the top of the ticket also, mm -hmm. uh, governor or Senate race. And because uh, that means that uh, if Trump loses, there's probably a, a uh, libertarian vote that's somewhere around 5%. Mm -hmm. And that's going to go to Kelly and it's going to go to Chris Sununu. Uh, so I presume that their combined vote, the Trump vote and the, and the Libertarian vote, will be over 50 percent. And, and my guess would be that that would be good news for Chris Sununu and for Kelly Ayotte. Uh, so whether or not Hillary gets over 50 percent is, I think, probably determinative of the lower races. Interesting. And even in the, even in the first congressional, I mean, uh, Frank Inta seems to be ahead at the moment, even though there's still 20 percent in, which is surprising. It goes against some of the polling. Very interesting because both Manchester and Portsmouth, I think, are in. Mm -hmm. So that means the big towns like Derry are still to report, which where I would expect Frank would do rather well. Uh, so that, I would say, puts him in a good position. Right. Guys, thank you very much. And how about okay, the John. towns, John, real quick, before you leave us? Is there anything uh, that you're waiting on as far as special towns that haven't come in? Um, the question, Senator, is what special towns are you waiting for uh, that would make you even more confident or, or, or in fact, less confident? Salem, Derry, Wyndham, Atkinson, Merrimack, Milford, uh, those are the towns which determine elections uh, relative to whether or not Republicans win. If uh, the Republicans run up, Republican candidates run up good votes in those towns, which historically have been strong Republican centers, uh, then the big towns already being in, the big cities already being in, uh, that usually is the margin of difference. I remember when I ran for the Senate, uh, Nobody knew the outcome until the next morning. In fact, Kathy and I went to bed and around 2 o'clock in the morning. We didn't know who had won. We had to call up AP in the morning to find mm -hmm. out who had won uh, because the towns had not come in yet. So, uh, And this is going to be a late count. And the reason it's going to be a late count is because there's going to be a lot of write-ins. So a lot of these small towns and mid-sized towns are going to take a long time counting ballots. So the numbers will not come in quickly. Right. And you certainly have a, more experience than anybody probably uh, in New Hampshire little, today. A little bit. Other than yeah. you. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I've been covering you my whole life. Well, I think the two of us have been around a while. <laughs> Thank you, Senator. Thank you so much.